If you're trying to get stronger legs and build more muscle in your lower body, but you're at home with limited equipment, then you're gonna have to get creative with what you put in your workouts to get that same stimulus that you would at the gym where you have access to a barbell and weights and all sorts of fancy equipment. And there's three ways that I do this in my home workout program, in my strength workouts, that's gonna get you the same stimulus and still let you build muscle at home with just a pair of dumbbells or with whatever equipment that you have. The first way of doing that is through static holds. So things like a wall sit. So sitting in that squat position, good form for a certain amount of time. You can also do this just a freestanding squat hold down and holding and increasing that time under tension for the muscles. So you're tiring out the muscles through the exercise. So as you hold here, you can even throw in some side steps just to get some movement in as well. But the whole point of those static holds is to increase that time under tension for the muscles. Number two is to take some exercises and throw a tempo into them. So you can do this. This is gonna increase the intensity of the exercise. Again, increasing the time under tension for the muscles, but you're moving through the contraction with the tempo. So you can do it with a something like a squat. So holding some dumbbells at the shoulders or even one dumbbell and going three seconds down. One, two, three. And when you come up, go right back down. One, two, three. And by throwing in that tempo, you're making it more intense on the muscles and increasing that time under tension, just like the static hold. You can also do that with something like a Cossack squat where it's a little bit more single leg. So you're going to be going out to the side here with the tempo. One, two, three, and then coming up and then one, two, three. So throwing in that tempo into these exercises is gonna increase the intensity of the exercise. And then number three is kind of like the Cossack squat there where we're gonna take single leg variations of exercises. And what that's gonna do is gonna separate the legs so then you're gonna be able to focus on the muscles on each leg. Because sometimes when we do double leg exercises, we won't notice that one leg is actually working more than the other. But when we split it up and do single leg exercises, it one, increases the intensity of the exercise, and it lets us focus in on the muscles that should be getting worked. So you can do this. One way I like to do this with a squat is to balance on one leg, and it's more of a reverse lunge, but I'm gonna to try to keep my back leg off the ground for as long as possible. So I'm gonna control, 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 and then when I need to, drop to the ground. And then from the ground, rock forward, put all the pressure on that front quad and glute, and then I'm gonna lift up and work that leg. So you can do that. You can also throw in something like a bridge to target more glutes. Because when I do a double leg bridge at home with limited equipment, this is really doing nothing for me. All right, I'm not building strength with that. I'm not building muscle with this. But as soon as I switch over to like a single leg bridge, this is gonna increase the intensity. And I know I should be working my left glute here. So I feel it in that glute. And you can go up and down, or you can do more of a static hold. And then I can switch, and when I switch legs, I obviously know I'm working the right glute here instead of the left glute. So you can separate it and make sure that each leg is getting worked evenly. All right, so those three things will help you get creative and get that same stimulus so you can build muscle at home with limited equipment. I mean, I just used one pair of dumbbells through those exercises right there. Again, static holds, throw in some tempo, and do some single leg variations. I hope this helps you add them to your workout routine this week and let me know how it goes.